Hello, I am Hiran Taylor and welcome back to Arduino Programming and Interfacing. In this video, I am going to tell you about this DC motor. How you can interface this DC motor with Arduino and how to control the speed of DC motor. If you want to control the speed of DC motor, then we require this L293D IC. So, as you can see here, I have connected the DC motor wire to the M out of this particular board. You can use the IC also. So it is connected to the M out pin of this IC and then this M in pin that is from here is need to be connected to the pin of the Arduino. I am using a 8 and 9 number pin over here. Now to control the speed of this DC motor we required a PWM from the Arduino. So you can see that there are few pin in the Arduino board that will generate the PWM signals. Here pin number 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 can be used for PWM purpose. So I am going to use this pin number 3 as an output and we will connect this to the enable pin of this IC. All these three pin are the output pin we will provide to L293 d and finally it will be connected to the DC motor. Now the working of DC motor can be understood with the help of this table. If we will provide input as a low and high. So let us say pin number 8 is low and pin number 9 is high then the motor will run in the forward or the clockwise direction. If one of the input let us say 8 is high and the pin number 9 is low then motor will run in a reverse or the anti-clockwise direction. If both the input are low or high in that case the motor will not run and it will be a stop. So now let us start with the interfacing. So as you can see that I have already connected this motor to the M out of this board and then first I will provide the supply to this board plus 5 volt and ground from the Arduino. Next we will connect pin 8 and 9 to this L293D board and which is again connected to this motor. Now I will connect one fan with the motor and next we will connect this enable pin to the pin number 3 of the Arduino. So that is it we have successfully done the interfacing now let us start with the programming. Now to program the DC motor first of all we will define the pin that we have used. So first of all I am using integer M11 for pin number 8 as a motor output and then integer M22 for pin number 9 and then integer en for the enable pin and which is connected to pin number 3. So this is what we have defined and after that we want to define the pin mode m11 as output. Similarly we have pin mode m22 as output. and pin mode this enable pin is again output. So we have defined all the pin as output and next we will write our logic. So as per logic uh, let us say first we want to run our motor in forward direction. So I will write digital write then m11 comma let us say low the first pin will be low and then digital write m22 that is pin number 9 is let us say high. So we have given a one input as a high and another one is low. So this will keep the motor to run in forward direction but to control the speed of motor we will write analog write then en comma we can write any value from 0 to 255. 
जीरो मीन्स जीरो परसेंट ड्यूटी साइकिल एंड टू फिफ्टी फाइव मीन्स हंड्रेड परसेंट ड्यूटी साइकिल सो विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट ड्यूटी साइकिल मोटर विल रन विद द फुल स्पीड एंड आफ्टर दैट लेट्स प्रोवाइड द डिले डिले ऑफ लेट्स ए थ्री सेकेंड सो इट विल रन द मोटर इन फॉरवर्ड डिरेक्शन फॉर द थ्री सेकेंड सो टू स्टॉप द मोटर we will write digital right m1 is low and this m2 is again low so it will stop the motor and there is no meaning of this analog right over here so i will just comment it and again it will stop for the 3 second after that let's say we want to run the motor in reverse direction so we will keep this as high and this as लो एंड वी वॉन्ट अवर स्पीड टू बी लेट से लेस कंपेर दैन दिस टू फिफ्टी फाइव सो आई विल राइट एन एटी ओवर हियर इन एनालॉग राइट एंड इट विल अगेन रन इन रिवर्स डिरेक्शन फॉर द थ्री सेकेंड सो दैट्स हाउ अवर प्रोग्राम विल वर्क इट विल रन फॉर फॉरवर्ड फॉर द थ्री सेकेंड एंड देन स्टॉप फॉर द थ्री सेकेंड एंड आफ्टर दैट it will again run reverse for the 3 second with the different speed okay let's verify the code so i will click on verify and we will save this as motor and click on save so you can see that we have successfully verify the code and here we can read the done compiling so next i am going to connect this usb pin to the laptop and let's select the board arduino uno and then we have the com port is also selected so we will now upload this code to this arduino board so i will click on upload so you can see that it will run in forward direction for the 3 second now it is stop for 3 second and then it will run in reverse direction so similarly again it will stop and reverse direction and again forward direction stop and again reverse direction so this is how you can control the direction and the speed of dc motor Thank you so much for watching this video please give your feedback in comments